thingy hanging down there. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Diamond Select figure review on the Universal Monsters creature from the Black Lagoon. Gotta give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible to see the latest from DST. Click the link in the description below. And if you're trying to pick this figure up, you can get it. Big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So the standard packaging that we have going on over here up top says Universal Studios, home of the original monsters. Creature from the Black Lagoon on the side. We got this funny little picture right over there. And a little funny picture right over there. And then on the back, you get a little synopsis. If you want to read that, pause it now. It says also available Son of Frankenstein, which I already reviewed. But anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's a creature from the Black Lagoon out of the packaging. And this is a very cool looking figure. I'm very, very impressed with the paint sculpt on the figure overall. He has a good amount of articulation. A very cool base over here. Fishy, 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 fish. Where did the fishy go? This is supposed to be some of that mucky water right here. They use some translucent plastic. I think this really came out great. I think this is a very cool idea. I've never seen Diamond Select make anything like this before, so I think it's pretty tight. And I like how it's got this pliable kind of plastic to it. It doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything. Rock right over there looks pretty good. And we get some moss on top of it and some vegetation over here. Looks like we get a bit of a coral reef right down there. That looks pretty nice. Ah, bones! Oh my god, oh, he killed somebody. No, oh, and then I like how they painted the bottom of this and everything. I think it looks pretty nice. This does have a couple of pegs sticking out of it, so it's not too bad. So we have a great head sculpt right here on the creature from the Black Lagoon. I think they did a great job with this paint sculpt. It looks fantastic. I really like how the eyes look, the mouth and everything. These fins and gills look incredible. I really like the paint in all these creases and everything. We do have the color variation with these different greens and whatnot. I think they did a great job with this. Unfortunately though, the fins right over here on the back, that, that does hinder some articulation, which I'll go over in a little bit. One thing to note too is that this is a very slimy figure. Just opening it out of the package, it felt very slippery, like it had some kind of greasy film over it, which eventually goes away, but I just wanted to mention that. I really like the paint variation right here, coming to the edges of these little sections right there. I think that is very cool. We have this very flat color for the center, and then all these like little shingled reptilian pieces just look really, really cool on this guy. And the hands are a slightly different color than the rest of the arm over here, which I think is a little strange, but not a big deal. Again, a lot of nice paint detail. The nails are a slightly different color. They got a beige color to them. Inside the hands look really good too. I'm really liking that. And this reptilian shingled look over here just looks really, really cool to me. And look at those creature toes. Toenails even have some paint detail on them. That's fantastic. Uh, let's take a picture. Oh yeah. Like his webbed heels that he has over here in these little sections on the back of the calves. Just a really cool looking figure overall. Look at that lagoon butt. This is very, very cool. So this figure has some decent articulation, but unfortunately his head could not look up, and that's a feature that I was really hoping for with this figure so I can get him into some swimming poses. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, the head does not move up at all. This whole section over here is very, very sharp, so it makes it a little difficult in posing sometimes. Uh, he does have this diaphragm joint right over here that does twist side to side, and you get some pivot over here too. Uh, it doesn't really crunch forward and back too much though, only forward a little bit. It doesn't really move backward because of this little section right over there. He does have have shoulders that move outward, they move forward. He has a bicep swivel. He has a single jointed elbow. It does rotate at the elbow. His wrist joints rotate side to side, but they're both pretty much stuck from the paint. So I had to use a hair dryer to get that loosened up. They do have hinges that move up and down. He does have a waist joint right here too. So that moves side to side and you get some pivot motion. You get a little bit of crunch right there at the waist joint too. And it does move back actually just a little bit. He does have these DCUC gaping crotch pits that move outward that much. They can move forward. He does have the thigh swivel. He has a single jointed knee that doesn't quite meet 90 degrees. He has ankles that move down. They move up quite a bit. And he does have some ankle pivot. It is a tiny ankle pivot because you can see this little flap right over here that's blocking it. But the joint is there. So this figure stands at about 8 inches tall. Here's a creature from the Black Lagoon compared to the Marvel Select Lizard figure. So we have our amphibian man compared to our reptile man. And here he is compared to the Marvel Select Black Widow. You know how this creature loves the ladies. <laughs> Huh? Uh, hey, where are you going, <laughs> baby? Come back here. Here's a creature from the Black Lagoon compared to Frankenstein's monster. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. My only real gripe with this figure is the lack of head articulation. I wish he could look up more to get him into swimming poses easier. I got him in a swimming pose right here, which doesn't look too bad. Overall, I really like the paint sculpt. I think it's fantastic, and they added a lot of articulation that really makes me happy. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the review. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and check out ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news and a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
stimulated comic book heart. That's crispy. And this reptilian shingled look right here just looks really badass. Damn it. <laughs>